Let's get into this Patreon-only episode that Chad put out where he's finally going to tell his story, yes. his side of the story, once and for all. What's up with these credit card charges that everyone's Dude, goofing on him for? you this out earlier? Wasn't this an earlier tease? Dude, he's been talking about this nonstop on every show. He's going, I'm going to finally tell my side of the story. I'm not going to do it on Anthony's show. I'm not going to do it on Kevin's show. I'm going to do it on my show. And he repeats this again, why it's on the $30 tier of his Patreon. Yeah. A tier that no one has he- ever been on. And when he says, just to throw a big fuck you out at everyone, you're like, it's the opposite of that, Chad. Chad, this is actually kind of the opposite. It's like, you're just fucking yourself over because one person will care. Patreon only, motherfuckers. Patreon only. Not only is it Patreon only, it's in the $30 tier. And the reason why it's in a $30 tier, because this is a big fuck you to a lot of you who gave me shit, harassed me. Your credit card jokes for almost two years relentlessly, calling me a thief, doxing my aunt. This is my fuck you to all of you, sticking it to you one last time. All right, so he's pretending this isn't a money grab, that this is a fuck you. The reason why I'm charging so much money for this content is because I just want to let you know what an asshole you are. Really? Because you're communicating just the opposite. And then he has the balls, Gino. Right after saying that, to say this. The courts are scumbags. They just want your money. It's not about right, wrong, justice. It's about how can we get money out of this motherfucker? How can we all make money off this dude? After saying, if you want to hear this content, you have to go to my $30 tier. He goes, and these fucking courts, they just want money. That's the only thing they're trying to do is make money. I don't know if that was good timing on those two thoughts, Chad. You might want to space those out. He doesn't have a lengthy thought process before he does this, I'm guessing. No. And and so I'm going to set all of this up for you, but it's hilarious because this isn't Chad's first time dealing with the court system. And what he likes to say is like, and I don't know how this works. I don't understand it. You know, if, if you're facing these charges, have your attorney explain it to you. I'd be asking a lot of questions. I'd be a fucking expert on credit card fraud. If I was charged with this, you know, I'd come in here, I'd be rambling off. Dude, I thought I knew everything there was to know about fucking COVID yeah. and vaccines. Like, I'll, I'll study this shit if it affects my life. You I know, would, I would be that. so good. I wouldn't get caught the next time. <laughs> right. I'd be, yes. I'd at least pretend I knew what the fuck I was talking about. Not Jed. He's so aloof. Like, oh, geez, I don't know what's going on. And, uh, well, okay. Here's him starting off to explain his side of the story. And I understand people are going to believe what they want to believe. And I'm at the point of, I don't care because it's just. <laughs> I don't care. What are, what has been said about me the past two years? There's nothing you can say worse. Okay, so he starts out by saying people are going to believe what they want to believe. Believe? I saw the police report. The, I, I'm, this isn't Scientology, motherfucker. This isn't a UFO sighting. I'm not like, yeah, I choose to believe that was a real yeah. extraterrestrial. No, this is a real tangible thing that we've all read through. Believe. Is he saying the police made it all up? <laughs> well, I think he impl- he never says that out loud. But he does kind of imply that. Okay? Okay. So thank oh, God. Right? Thank God, Gino. He has the facts for us. I have evidence. I have facts. I have paperwork. I have it all that vindicates me. That vindicates me. To get me. paperwork, but, it's, it's probably better to do an audio, uh, a, a busy video podcast. Probably better to have a video component. Right. There is no video paper. component to this one. It's audio only. And spoiler, but, there's no paperwork. There's no facts. So he yeah. says he has right these things. Right now, we're holding up one of the one of the pieces of paperwork. So fuck you. Thanks for the thirty bucks. <laughs> right. Yeah, he says he has these facts and shit. And I want to point out that whole thing where he's like, "Well, you're gonna believe what you want to believe." That sounds like a guy who is cheating on his girlfriend and gets caught. He's like, "Oh, you want to think I was cheating on you? Is that why? Is that oh, you want to think that I'm cheating on you?" It's like, no, I just I just saw you do it. Is why I'm upset yeah. with you right now. You I suppose you want to look at my phone. Why? Because you don't trust me? <laughs> yeah. You probably want to look at my phone. That's why I'm not going to show it to you, because you don't trust me. Yeah, right. Why, why don't you trust me anymore? Why do you think I was charged with credit card fraud? Just because you read about it in a police report? Just because I went to court for it multiple times and had to hire an attorney? Why do you think that? Just because there's it's lipstick on my collar? And pubic it's hairs that don't belong to me? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, there's red-headed pubic hairs in my underpants. I don't know why you don't believe I'm me. I'm not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes, okay? 
<laughs> that vindicates me. But you're going to believe what you want to believe. And I'm not, I'm not even trying to convince you. I'm just telling you what happened. Yes, you are. Why not? If I was accused of something I didn't do, and everyone thought I did yeah. it, I'd be trying to convince you otherwise. Like, no, this is not true. I'll prove to you yeah. it's not true. He's like, I don't care what you think. Why not? Yeah. You should. I would. Well, if I paid $30 for you to convince me, you'd better. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. You'd be, you can think what you want to think. It's like, no, no, you just said, pay me $30 and I'll blow the lid off and explain to you what. Now, I, I might not even show you anything. You're going to believe what you're going to believe. But, uh, no, you kind of have to now. Okay. Why don't you use this audio podcast to show me stuff? All you right. Idiot. So here we go. We start off with this thing called discovery. I like to chance. Like, I guess this is a thing where they have to like share their evidence. Like, like Chad doesn't know what discovery is. Are you kidding me? I haven't seen. <laughs> I haven't seen my guts in video in a while, so I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't recall. All right. So this is what the his attorney got to see in the discovery process. He goes, I looked at the discovery. There's no way they can pinpoint this on you. He goes, I looked at the video surveillance footage. He goes, it's a guy in a Washington Nationals hat, sunglasses, and a mask. He goes. That could be me. That could be Jackie Chan. There's no way if we take this to trial, I can easily win this case. He goes, but I want to get it thrown out. Okay. So he's saying, and the thing that I want to point out in all of these clips that I have is Chad is sharing very few details about this case with us. Right. Just the things that he wants to share with us is what he's telling us about. So apparently this video footage, and there's tons of video footage um, right. Whoever stole these credit cards from the gym using these credit cards could have been anybody, Gino. The right. guy with glasses and a mask and a Nationals hat. Did you notice, too, that he didn't say, this isn't you, or Chad didn't say it wasn't me? He's like, I can yeah. so prove approval, so easily prove this could have been anyone. That sounds like a lawyer saying, don't worry, yep. I'll tell them. Like, even though this is you, I'll use the defense. This could be anyone. Yeah. And basically, if I'm to believe this, and then I'll let you talk. It's almost like it's your show. But if I'm to believe this, then you're saying, if you guys want to get away with credit card fraud, wear a hat and sunglasses. Okay. Okay. <laughs> because it's based on picture evidence and not a paper trail. All right. Let's go. I'm surprised Chad didn't say it here. I'm not even a national. I was going to say. How the <laughs> fuck did it be? I don't even like the Washington yeah. Nationals. <laughs> yeah. Your Honor, does this look like a Nationals fan? <laughs> yeah. He grew up in Cleveland, Wait. for Christ's sakes. <laughs> Do you understand? I imagine him getting ready to commit the crime, and he puts on a Cleveland hat. He's like, what am I, stupid? Yeah. <laughs> He's got his Z-Man shirt on. He's like, Wait a second. There might be a camera. Somewhere. By the way, the first charge on one of these credit cards was a Nationals hat at Lids. <laughs> uh, Japanese fart enthusiast says Chad has vowed to catch the real credit card thief and then Joe got a discord says Chad is writing a book titled If I Did It yeah it's, it's not sounding like you're innocent buddy but alright so let's let's find so out good. more of this uh, this case and I go fucking do what you do man I paid you $15,000 do what you do get it get it gone okay so he has to drop the fact that he's paying his attorney $15,000. Now, Gino, I'm not saying that that is any evidence that he's guilty. But I, what I yeah. will say is if I were You can innocent, get a new job for $15,000. All right, I'll let it go back to that's you. That's not what I was going to say. If I were innocent, if all of a sudden cops came to my house, they're like, you're under arrest. Like, what, for what? You stole these credit cards from the gym. No, I've never done that. The last thing I would do is be like, I gotta hire the most expensive attorney in the world yeah. to prove that I'm innocent. Because I don't know, it just kind of makes it seem like fifteen thousand dollars is a lot of hours you're putting into this. Yeah. It sounds like to and me, he's probably lying about that number, but it's a number he probably can't afford. I don't know. Yeah. That was the spending limit that he just got. Oh, on his you're card. right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, right. He just said. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, um, yeah, Citibank. I'm actually gonna need fifteen. I know you gave me twelve, which is great. I'm actually gonna need fifteen thousand limit. Can you? Can you make uh, that happen, please? Somebody just commented, 15 grand for a lawyer, he's got to be guilty of sin. I love that fucking I don't know. phrase. Listen, I don't know. What do I know? I don't know anything yeah. about these court systems, Chino. That's a great I'm just like, Chad, I don't know anything. <laughs> All right. So then, apparently, there was a deal. So his attorney worked on a deal with the prosecutor. Now, if anyone knows anything about the law in 2022, almost nothing goes to trial. Yeah. Everything now is a plea bargain and a deal. And because this is the thing, and this is the thing that Chad is so lying about, is the courts want to save the time and money too. 
<laughs> they don't want to deal with this shit. The people who make out in all of this are the attorneys. This this whole system is built for attorneys to just bleed their clients dry, which is, it is one of this. So yeah. for whatever reason, they make a deal. And then Chad is on podcasts laughing this off and goofing about the credit card charges. And people send that to the prosecutor. And then the prosecutor is like, all right, there's no more fucking deal. This, your client's an asshole. He's laughing about this shit. This is no <laughs> laughing matter. So this is no, what's great is that Chad is mad at the people who sent the videos to the prosecutor. Again, this isn't Chad's fault. This is everyone else's oh. fault, but it is. He's like, he doesn't owe us a deal. In fact, he says he took that off the table and he says, if Chad's innocent, he can go try his hand at a trial. Have him spend the money. I, I don't owe this guy a thing. So the deal's off. I go, you gotta be shitting me. He goes, yeah, man. He goes, I don't know what to tell you. He goes, we could still go to trial. And by the way, the trial was gonna cost close to 20,000 because there were three, char three major charges that ended up becoming one. Again, I don't know the law. <laughs> yeah, you don't know the law, I know. It doesn't make any sense. Now, Gina, he is saying that he can't afford, even though he's innocent, although he never really comes out and says that, but he's implying that he's innocent. Even right. though he's innocent, he can't go to trial because it's going to cost twenty. I feel like Kevin Brennan. Oh, it's going to cost $20,000. Oh, I don't have that much. Oh, gee. Oh, gee, Wilkers. That's just a little bit out of my budget. Oh, gosh darn yeah. it. $20, I'm sure he'll make that with five more, five more episodes of MLC. I'm sure he'll have that money in hand. I mean, can he open for Tosh.0 oh, a couple more times to get the 20000 <laughs> Chad, you're so funny. <laughs> don't you love when he fucking is hosting at a club? And he's like, yeah, I'll be uh, working with, you're just hosting. You're, you're regressing. You're, 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 you're the house MC in Tampa. Stop saying you're working with these people. He literally said, oh. he goes, he goes, I'm doing the Boca black box with da Don Jameson and Jim Florentine. Uh, they're doing the big room. I'm doing the little one, but you know, I'll, I'll also be hosting their show in the big room. So, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm part of it guys. I'm a part of that crew. It's a cool. Oh, crew. It but look at me. I'm smart. <laughs> All right, so now that deal has uh, been taken off the table. Now, this is my take on it. The $20,000 he claims is going to cost to go to trial. There's two things that could be. And by the way, I do not live in this world, so I could be way off. People will tell me if I am. My thought is right. either his attorney is saying, I'm going to need to charge you $20,000 if we take this to trial. Like That's going to be the attorney fee mm -hmm. because the court doesn't charge you that unless there's a fine. Unless he's hearing that if you are convicted of this, you'll be fined twenty thousand dollars. That those are the only two places I can think twenty thousand dollars comes from. Because if you cannot afford an attorney, an attorney will be appointed to you. It's in our constitution. This is I heard. So. Do yeah. we even still use that thing, Carl? But I'll take your word for it. Yeah, right. So there, there's a thing where it's like, well, all these people were found guilty because they can't afford the twenty thousand dollars for an attorney. And listen, I'm not saying that it's not easier if you have money to get through the criminal system in our country. That's definitely true. But Chad's acting like his hands are tied here. I'm innocent, but there's nothing yeah. I can do because I, I can't afford this thing. And my credit's <laughs> bad. <laughs> because I, I was like, I got I to gotta get this behind me. I can't plead guilty to this This because it's not true. And uh, I know the beating I would take if I did plead guilty. So Chad says, I can't plead guilty to it because, A, it's not true, but also people are going to make fun of me. Oh, yeah. I can't plead guilty to this. People are going to goof on me. I, I, I want to give that kind of material to Carl from who these podcasts and steal time. Yeah. I can't do that. <laughs> You're killing me. I'm dying. Go on. But dying. that's literally what he just said. It's like, Chad, don't say that part. You're saying the quiet part out loud right now. Oh, I can imagine him saying it. It's like, you can't let Carl see this. Who the fuck are you talking about? Oh. All right. So then he explains there was a possibility they could take a deal where he serves probation and the charges would go away. But they looked at his past criminal history and went, actually, you're ineligible for that deal. I would have left that story out completely, Chad. <laughs> it's like, you know, yeah. you know, and if I hadn't been a career criminal, they would have given yeah. me a pretty good offer on this one. Well, yeah, but you are. So they didn't. So that's too bad, isn't it? Yeah. You know this this these fake charges are really inconvenient for a conv for a, for a convicted criminal. <laughs> yeah. They really are fucking things up for me. Oh god, I was listening to another episode he did where he was talking about his first or it was his second what they call OVI uh operating a vehicle while intoxicated I think is what that stands for. It's like a DUI though yeah. in the rest of the country. And um, he's, he's like, you know, I was sober that night. I went out. Someone handed me a shot. Like, everything's someone else's fault. Someone was handing me yeah. shots. So I drank the shots. I hadn't eaten that day. 
And then I, I was going home and I stopped at a red light and I just fell asleep. And then my car slowly went into a tree. And that, that's what happened. Like, you know, he's just like, he's got all these excuses for it. I'm surprised he didn't say someone dosed him or something. He should do a podcast because, like, this is the thing I've said about Chet. When he goes to do a podcast, he just, like, you saw the time I was just commenting on, on his podcast or whatever his live stream, and all he could do was answer the questions. Because yeah. he, he doesn't go on with stories. He's just like, I'm on the air. Someone asked me. But if he were to tell stories like that, I fell asleep and I slowly rolled into a tree. You got my money, buddy. You got <laughs> my son. I want to hear stories like that to make me like myself better. That's great. All right. So this is Chad's deal. That he decided that he had to take now. All but they, right. they're going to force you to plead guilty to some of these charges. But he goes, it would be a probationary period. And after your probation, you can um, get get it sealed and eventually expunge. Right? Kind of like Anthony Cumia did uh-huh. with Vinnie Brand's daughter. He okay. pled guilty, got forced probation, forced rehab. After his probation... He got it sealed, which I'm doing right now as we speak. It's in the process of getting sealed and eventually expunged in the state of Florida. Okay, so they forced him to plead guilty in order for him to take this deal. This poor innocent man was forced to plead guilty. That's why you make a deal, because you are guilty. If you're speeding yeah. and you go into to court and they're like, we can make it a non-moving violation, I'm like, okay, great. What do I owe you? It'll take two points off your yeah. license. You owe us 85 bucks. Great, because I yeah, was guilty. I, I was going 20 over the, over the limit, so I'll take that. If I was I'll, innocent, I'll I'd be like, fuck you. I wasn't even speeding. Yeah. Like, he makes it sound like this whole co- – like, don't go to Florida because they just make shit up where he's completely innocent and he's jumping through all these hoops. That's another reason I think he got mad at me. I lost my mind on the show. And so I'm like, I've had it with this. I can't tell you what I – if you didn't do anything, there's nothing to tell or not tell. Correct. It's just what the fuck it is. Like, I had this – like, I went on the air the – like – I t- one time I did a show and I thought of it just now because it's like chat I'm on the stage and I did three shots in a row I'm like I'm fine I got in my car I drove three blocks and I'm like you know what I'm not getting a DUI I pull over throw the keys in the back seat fucking go to sleep cop wakes me up fucking makes me take a sobriety test I'm like motherfucker and uh long story short thank god I had a police badge because they had me in handcuffs. He's like, all right, I'm not going to give you a DUI. I'm going to give you a uh, whatever, just public intoxication. But that's what happened. You know, that's the story. I can explain it that quickly. It took us 18 months to get to the bottom of uh, Florida is a criminal place. And I had to beg for forgiveness, even though I didn't do anything. Okay. So he keeps talking about this sloppy police work. He goes, this is all an issue because of the sloppy police work. He never actually explains what it is, but he kind of does. He doesn't realize that he's letting on what actually happened here. The sloppy police work side of things is that video footage could be anybody. Now, there's all this other evidence against Chad, so he never brings that up. He leaves all of that out. Because if it was just this video that could be anyone, then I would go to trial and say, okay, prove it was me. How do you prove it was me? Well, they can prove it was Chad, which is why he had to take this deal. And the sloppy police work is the reason why they're making him a deal. Because they're yeah. like, all right, we, d- we didn't do as good a job as we could have. There was another guy who also stole credit cards. That guy's also under arrest for something similar. So now there's, it's a little complicated, and maybe they messed up some paperwork. So that's really, it's all working on Chad's side. That's why he's getting the deal that he's getting. But, he's, he's acting like that's a problem. Add one more thing really quickly. Do you know why uh, neither you nor me nor producer Chris were involved in this? Because it wasn't us. Correct. There's a big difference between this this could this could be anyone, or this is not me. Right. It's not us three. But so, is this you? Well, it could be anyone. Could Just say anyone. it's not me. I can't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. I know. All right, so you see right through this as well, Gino. I can't. I love. This. I know why I wasn't investigated. Oh, because it was not me. <laughs> I love the. He's telling his side of the story. He's like, I'm finally going to shut everybody up. It's like, oh, I actually have a lot more questions now. Yeah. Yeah. More than I had. <laughs> right. So now he's saying yeah. that he's done with his probation. He can travel anywhere. He's now free to travel anywhere, which, uh, by the way, now might be a good time to point out this uh, tweet that he put out. Because. Oh, do tell, dish girlfriend. Uh, again, fucking, the guy can't help himself from threatening things. And this is right out of the Suttering John Playbook, which I'll explain. 
But he said, fuck it, let's have some fun. And he posted a screen grab from Travelocity or whatever that shows two flights to Rochester from Tampa. Mm. All right. Big so he's explaining he's going to come to DabbleCon because it's on, it's on February 3rd and February 5th. So he's going to come to DabbleCon. Now, the problem is, is that he's showing that it's the fucking review and pay screen. It's not the confirmation screen. How dumb does he think anybody fucking is? He's like, oh, see, here's proof. I'm going to come to DabbleCon. Chad, come to DabbleCon. I don't know what you're trying to prove here. This is literally what Suttering John did when I was going to Tampa with Dick Masterson. Southern John did the exact same thing. He posted pictures of his Tampa tickets before he had confirmed them and bought them. It's like, holy shit. Do you think everyone's as dumb as you are? Gino, maybe, but I'm, not I'm, me. I'm not dumb. I, I, I'm not Gino's dumb. like, oh, no. I'm He's going to DabbleCon. <laughs> He's going to DabbleCon. This is Chrissy. <laughs> I'm Kevin Brennan. This is incredible. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so now we can. He's Stupid. free to move about the country now. Before yeah. he had to like ask permission or something because he was on some kind of probation. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But remember, it, he's not trying to change our mind, Gino, which is a good thing because he's not. I, I had no yeah. obligation to do this podcast. I, there really wasn't. I, I almost wanted to say, fuck you to everybody. Believe what you want. But I also felt like, you know what? I'm going to say my side of the story. This is what happened. And uh, again... I'm not trying to change your mind. Believe what you want. Why not? Why aren't you trying to change our mind? Is that the whole point of this episode? You're saying everyone's lying Why about not? you. Yeah. You have all the facts. Why He's going to tell his side of the story. He hasn't told his side of the story. Oh, no, he hasn't. He's told his lawyer's side of the story. Yes. He told, he told us what his attorney said. Like, hey, we might be able to get police. you off. Yeah. <laughs> we might be able to make a deal with this one. The evidence is as good as it could have been. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Convince us. Guys, listen closely to this clip. This is what I listened to the show called The No Agenda Show. This is what they refer to as the truth wants to come out. He never corrects himself. Listen to this. But you were all wrong. I was never going to prison. Never had an ankle monitor. Was never allowed to leave the state of Florida. He goes, I was never allowed to leave the state of Florida. That's what everybody thought. Yeah. <laughs> we, we thought you weren't allowed to leave the state Whoops. of Florida. <laughs> you idiot. <Yeah. laughs> I think you meant the opposite of that, but the truth does yeah, want to come out Yeah, I was about to say that, so... Uh, like, I'm slow to... I'm like, yeah, he meant was never not... Al yeah, I can't even... Yep. He shouldn't try fucking dabble in English, because, yeah, was never allowed to not leave, which would have been awkward. See, Chad, I, I listen closely. That's why I'm good at my job. <laughs> you gotta watch out. I can hear you. I can hear you. All right, this is the last clip from that episode, and this is going on the board. This is a new way to end WATP right here. Go fuck yourselves. Have a good week. <laughs> That's a good show close. <laughs> That's a pretty good show close right there. Like, I'm never That's offended. Great. I'm never mad. <laughs> Who are these podcasts?